Welcome back guys, it's the Tight Wad, and we are looking at the Jacuzzi Tub today. Uh, we filled it up with bleach water to clean it out and we really wanted to run the jets. Uh, we don't use them often, but just to clean out the tubes that go to them and clean out the jets themselves. But when we try to turn it on, all we get is that hum. So we know the breaker's turned on, we already checked that. Uh, we're getting the hum, and so we take a look under the tub, and there's our motor. It plugs in here. We are good here with a green light on the switch, on the GFCI switch. So we need to figure out what is going on. All right, so we are inside our access panel for our hot tub looking at the motor, which is right over here, and we see it has an electrical plug. So the first step in working on any type of motor is to remove the power. So I unplug it from the outlet, and the next thing we're gonna do is look at the motor and uh, kind of explain what's going on. So these motors have an impeller inside of them, uh, which is kind of like a fan that spins at a high rate of speed and causes the air that comes out of the jets that, uh, and circulates the water throughout the hot tub. And since we don't use this jacuzzi tub very often, these motors get build up in them. Even though we haven't used it very often, it gets build up all around the uh, coils, the copper coils that are on the inside of this motor. So when we hear our humming noise, that means that the motor's getting power, it's trying to turn on, but the motor itself can't spin. That's a, usually a telltale sign of any uh, electrical motor. Whenever it hums, something is hanging up so that it will not spin. On these particular motors, there's always a screw in one end of them. If you look in the center right here, you can see that there's a screw. It's a flathead. That's actually not a screw, it's a post that runs the full length of the motor, and that's what the impeller is attached to. So, by turning that flathead screw type rod with a screwdriver, we can loosen up the motor and hopefully loosen it up, up enough that it'll kick on. So I'm gonna twist it a few times, and the first time I tried to turn it, it was stuck. Now it's turning pretty freely. You can spin it both directions. Uh, I think naturally it's gonna spin in a clockwise motion. But now I'm going to plug it back in and push our button to turn on our jets and hopefully it will start spinning. And you hear it kick on and we look over the top and it is now working. So it's a quick fix and it's much better than replacing the motor for your hot tub, pool, or jacuzzi jets. They all have the same type of motors, so this applies to all three. We'll let this run for a little while to clean it off, but also to let that motor heat up and clean off the coils on the jet. Every tightwad loves a free fix and this one was quick and easy. It took me longer to go to the basement to get the screwdriver than it did to actually fix the problem. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see a video showing how to replace the shower drain using common household tools, click the video in the top left. If you want to see an easy way to fix a leaky toilet in less than 5 minutes and for less than $5, click the video in the top right. Hope you guys have a great day.